Hello. Good evening. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Earthborn Rangers. This is, uh, we're going to be checking out this here game. This is a new, for the first time. For the first time. For sure the first time. This new uh, cooperative game from uh, a lot of the makers of some of our all, all, all of our favorite cooperative games, such as like Arkham Horror, um, Lord yeah. of the Rings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Very cool games. Very cool and fun uh, games. Kickstarted. Um, so if you want to buy it at a local game store, too bad. You can't maybe it. Maybe they... Maybe uh, well, I'm there's sure pro there's probably some cool local game stores out there that may have a copy. There's probably of a retail thing. release at some point soon, yeah. right? Yeah, I would hope so too. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're excited to try it out. Uh, definitely for the first time, we haven't fumbled away a chance at this game already. But we have an idea of what we're doing. Yeah, for sure. So we built some decks. So we followed the, yeah. the deck building rules in the in the rule book. Basically, uh, there are cards that for your personality, so you take X amount of cards for your personality and you add those to your deck. You take a for your background, yeah. So you choose a background, and you take X amount of cards for your background as in your deck. And then, I am an artificer, and then is that your role? Sorry, no, that, that's that is not. my role. That's my role. Um, I jumped ahead there, and then you have a role also. <laughs> I'm an artificer. Yeah, I am a explorer. Uh, yeah, it, we have aspects here. You'll, um, I guess I'll mine is right here. Uh, you've got four major. I, 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 I would say stats. They're just kind of aspects, I think aspects, is what they're yeah. called. But, um, so you've got uh, awareness, spirit, fitness, and focus. And they're like the resources of the game. So like you pay yeah. for cards using these. You uh, commit to tests by using these. Right. And you, get, they get, you get them back every turn. But that's, right. that's how you're going to be using resources. Uh, turn awareness turn. is kind of like perception. Fitness is kind of like physically fit. Uh, focus is your ability to hone in on things. And then spirit is kind of like your... Uh, communication with stuff um so uh but yeah now um we're starting with the very first mission this is day number one um and we've got a little bit of a preamble here now we've gone through the setup already um there the here it tells us to begin the first four steps of setup and uh basically that was shuffle our decks who's going to be the lead ranger this time uh i'll be the lead ranger justin is now the lead ranger <laughs> Um, we choose our lead ranger, Justin. If Justin and I can't come to a consensus, then Justin gets to override me. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, Justin will uh, will follow the role of lead ranger, which en entails some extra things, which we'll see in here in a second. So, um, all right. Uh, cresting the gentle grassy hill. Oh, we're supposed to have a hand of six cards. I've drawn my well. hand. You've drawn your hand. I have now drawn my hand. I've got six cards. Uh, what was the were there mulligan rules? Uh, mulligan you rules? can like partial mulligan. I believe you can set aside cards and then you draw up and then you, um, and then you shuffle the cards you set aside okay. back in. I'm gonna I'm gonna set aside. Um, I'm setting aside one card. Uh, because. I had two copies of it in my hand. I'll draw one. Excellent. 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 I'm and I got a combo in my deck. I've put together a combo, a combination of cards. A combo nation. Um, all right. Okay. So, here we go. Cresting the gentle grassy hill, you see the unmistakable silhouette of Lone Tree Station rise out of the highland plains before you. Lone Tree Station is aptly named. The single, massive, giga redwood towers above the hills and swaying grass that surrounds it. You can just make out eaves and balconies among the gnarled bark. Doors tucked into the winding roots and hanging gardens suspended from the branches. As you draw closer, a woman in freshly pressed, pressed cloak steps out from the main entrance and waves. Klipsa, your mentor from the past nine months, strides towards you with a man who looks just about your age at her heels. Hello, she calls out. You made it. Just look at you. She clasps your hands, her smile warm and her grip firm. I'm glad to finally have you here, she says. Then she turns. This is Call Ivor. I trained Call last year, right before I started training you. Call Ivor gives you a nod in greeting. A pleasure, he says. All right, so we're going to put the Lone Tree Station location into play in the surroundings. Okay, now, so this area up here is the surroundings. This is Lone Tree Station. Um, this is Lone Tree Station. So, uh, the Earthborn Rangers has uh, uh, three areas. We've got the surroundings, which is going to be the section up here. 
We've got uh, Within Reach, which is directly in front of us. And what was the other one? On the Way. On the Way. On the Way uh, is between us and the surroundings, okay? Um, and these are, I like these abstract game concepts um, because it's, uh, I think it lets you do a lot with the rules. Um, so, okay. So, uh, Lone Tree Station is now here. Clips ahead backs to the station with you and Cal in tow. She speaks back over her shoulder. Please make yourselves at home. Explore the hanging gardens. Find spirit speaker Nall and Cordo and strike up a conversation. Get to know the place. Okay. After you spent some time here at the station, you should head over to White Sky, she says. In fact, High Pimpet has some juniper biscuits baking right now. His food is legendary around these parts. Once those biscuits are ready, you've had a chance to poke around. Take a parcel over to White Sky and offer them to the people you meet. It's been at least a year since our neighbors have enjoyed the company of rangers bearing treats. She turns to look at Cal. What do you think, Cal? Good way to get started? Cal grins at you in a way that you can't quite uh, describe as a sneer. Handing out baked goods? I think they're perfectly suited to their abilities. Yeah, yeah true. All right, the rangers now choose. We can either tell Cal what he can do with his condescending attitude, <laughs> or we can ignore him. You can tell him what to do. All right, Justin, the lead ranger has chosen to tell Cal what he can do with his condescending attitude. Calypsa glares. Recall the wisdoms of our ancestors, he says. Treat each other with kindness. On kind... Yeah, you're right, Cal. She punches you on the shoulder. No. <laughs> and on this, she punches Cal's. Okay, yeah. All right, so uh, please write in the game log that we stood up to Cal, wherever the game log is. Why, the game log's on the back oh, okay. of the book that I'm working there on. There you go. So, um, so uh, what do we got? We got any pins over here? Certainly not ready for this. Pencil? Oh, yeah, I got a pencil. So we stood up to Cal. Notable events. How are you supposed to, you're supposed to be like this. Okay. Stood up to Cal. All right. Maybe he respects us later. Who knows? All right. Now, we are going to gain the biscuit delivery. This is our first mission. Are you ready? We're delivering biscuits. Um, add it to the missions section of the campaign tracker. So on to the back of the book here, we've got uh, day number one. Uh, name, biscuit delivery. All right. Uh, okay, biscuits. check the campaign tracker for the weather for the current date. Day one, put the corresponding weather card, a perfect day, into play. Day one is a perfect day. So, uh, the weather is lovely. Perfect day. Clipsa turns to you. Cal and I are heading out into the valley. We'll be on Shadow Patrol. That is, we'll never be too far away from you for the next few weeks. You shouldn't need our help, of course, Cal says. I could tell by looking at you that you're more than capable. I, I didn't sneer that. I didn't <laughs> do a sneery enough voice. Oh, let me try that again. I'm going to do another read on it. We'll edit this out in post. You shouldn't need our help, of course, Cal says. I can tell by looking at you that you're more than capable. Farewell for now, Eclipsa says, and starts down the eastern path away from Lone Tree. Spirits guide you. Follow your instinct. She and Cal walk steadily out of sight. All right, our mission is to explore Lone Tree Station to find High Pimpet. Retrieve the Juniper Biscuits and learn what to do next. So it says during this mission to use 91, use entry 91, instead of the normal entries for High Pimpot, Cordo, Nal, and QC Boss. Okay, so, so if we, we reach them, we read 91 and stuff. Okay. What their cards are. Excellent, excellent. Our All mission right. is to travel away from Lone Tree Station while High Pimpot is in play. And we read 1.01. Okay. So um, we create the path deck by shuffling together the woods and the Lone Tree card sets. We have done that. This is the path deck right here. Challenge deck, where, uh, which will modify our test. And then uh, uh, path deck right here. Okay. Um, place it uh, above the surroundings. Done. Um, then complete all initial setup by performing the setup steps on the back of the Lone Tree location card. So back the Lone Tree location card. And placing three cloud tokens on the perfect weather. Alright, so we got three cloud tokens on a perfect day. So Rebel Set up and search the path deck for the next predator and discard it. Alright, if you want, go ahead. Okay, right. the Prowling Wolfhound is discarded. So um, we don't have to fight a Prowling Wolfhound. Uh, we don't have to, I guess we, we don't have to outsmart it either. Yeah. Uh, did you read the? Did you read the rest of it? The rest of the rest of that. Uh, the arrival. 
Lead Ranger, draw one path card. All right, so now you draw a path card. Okay. Hanging Garden. So this is, this is Hanging Garden right here. It, uh, it has one presence. It can do four. You can complete it clear with four reds or four blues. Yeah, and so red is like physical conflict or like it's negative like, emotion. It's a lot of, it's, it represents a lot of different things. It would be like cutting it down, right? Something yeah. like that. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so it has an action on it. So you can eat the abundant fruits to add one to this feature. That's that's how you're removing it, I guess. So if you read mm. all the fruits, that, yeah. the one, that symbol is one of the reds. Uh, and soothe three fatigue and heal one injury. Okay, so that's how you can like heal yourself. Um, and if we flip that thing on the challenge deck, there's an active human, exhaust them, add success to them equal to the thing. I, I need to learn what the terms for those yeah, symbols are. The blue, the blue symbol is so soothing? Soothe. Soothe or something? I don't know. No, the soothe, soothe is the technical term for healing fatigue. Uh, so uh, this is actually goes to within reach of you. Within reach of me. Um, yeah. And so this, this event down there at the bottom says it adds damage to this and healing to someone else. They're going and eating the berries. Mm. So what, that's what's happening here is if this uh, thing is happening. Uh, blue There's, is progress and red is harm. There you go. Harm and progress. Yeah. Right, right. Um, so uh, the the interesting thing uh, f that I've seen from this game is that a lot of this stuff is interacting with itself even if we don't. Yeah. Right? Like the, the animals are interacting with each other and the people in the surrounding environments that are interacting with this stuff. So... All right, this concludes setup. You're ready to play. Now go explore Lone Tree, Lone Tree Station 5. Hi, Pimpet. Um, so, uh, now, uh, oh, did we need to read something? 43? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's read that real quick. Do we, uh, do we still use that? Yeah, it's just for the... People. It's a Hi, Pimpet, yeah. Cordo, Nal, and Queasy Voss. For the peoples. Okay. All right, so the Hanging Gardens is entry, entry number 43. Um, five meters above the ground, you step out of the doorway, leading into the trunk of Lone Tree and onto the wildly swinging catwalk of boards and rope. You keep a firm grip as you make your way toward the massive boxes, each as large as a flatboat and overflowing with plants that hang from the tree's thick branches. As the wind shifts, you catch the heady aroma of blooming flowers and ripe vegetables. So. Okay. I'm immersed. Um, okay, so that's that. Time yeah. to draw path cards. Start with the round structure. We play the game. Yes. Yep. I believe. We I believe we go. Now. We are playing. We are playing the game. All right. So we're just gonna draw a path card. All Let's right. Start the round. I got a prowling wolf hound. Ooh. All right. So that that is. Uh. You really enjoy it, Squid Diamond. It's good nice. to hear. It's good you to hear. Yeah. 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 We're we're excited. <laughs> to, we're excited to play it. So. All right. Prowling wolf hound. If there's another predator in play, this predator comes into play exhausted. Okay. So it's gonna hang out in front of me. All right. And then I draw a path card. Oh no, I've got a prowling wolf hound. Man, there okay. are all kinds of wolf hounds. Jeez. I don't know I don't know that the Rangers have done a very good job of keeping Lone Tree Station clear of prowling wolf hounds. Okay, so there we go. Alright, now we take our ranger turns and we just kinda of alternate back and forth. So we right? take one action of please basically at a time. Yeah. Okay, and, and yeah. trade. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, my character is an artificer. My background is artisan, and I've got some personality traits that you'll discover as we go along. Um, so I like gadgets. I like tinkering with toys. Um, so uh, that's the that's the goal here. Is I want to make some gizmos, and I want to use them. So, all right, you're first there. All right, I'm just gonna start playing my stuff. So we do have, we do have well. four action. It's worth. Uh, calling out these actions real quick. Oh yeah, um, the there are actions. there are four common tests. Um, we've got uh, traverse, connect, remember, and avoid. Um, and so traverse, we need to leave Lone Tree Station. But the first thing we need to do is we actually need to find High Pimpet, get the biscuits. Um, okay. Um, so uh, we can use traverse to leave here. We can get ready to leave at any time, right? Um, but right now we've actually got these uh, these wolfhounds after us. That are going to kind of be in the way, um, and uh, and then we've got connect, so we can actually try to like uh, soothe these savage beasts and uh, try to uh, encourage them to leave us alone with the connect action. Remember, it lets us go filter through our deck for specific cards, 
um, which is, I, uh, I think, are just a great mechanic to have yeah. built into the core rules of a game, especially a game. <laughs> the, a lot of the cards that are in this game are very, very specific, right? So having an ability to go find the uh, uh, good answers is awesome. And then finally, avoid, um, and, which is pretty good in this instance. This would let us um, exhaust uh, the wolfhounds, right? So if we can um, avoid the wolfhounds using a basic action, then that would let us um, uh, continue several other turns without having to worry about um, being uh, uh, bothered by these dogs. So we're going to spend two on this Orland hiking stave. All right. Uh, I can exhaust and use a stride token, which comes into play with three tokens on it, to add one to a trail. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. so it gives me an action to fit to strike out with my walking implement to add one uh, harm, was it? To yeah. To a being for every two effort. If you fail, suffer one industry. All yeah. right. So you can actually, you can actually, uh, I can slap it. Slap the wolfhound with the, uh, with your wall, uh, your uh, stave there. My hiking stave. Okay, yeah. your turn. Okay. Um, I. Uh, and that cost you two f uh, fitness. fitness to yeah. play. All right, I am uh, going to spend one fitness to put trail markers attached to a location or feature. Um, I'll just pop trail markers up there. Okay, uh, the attached uh, card gains the trail trait and response when one or more, uh, what was it? Su uh, success? Su progress. Progress. progress when one or more progress is added to the attachment, uh, to the attached trail, increase the number of progress added by one. Um, now, importantly, this gives the trail trait. So your hiking staff now works on the trail. That's pretty cool. Um, so I've got the trail markers down there. They are ready to go. Um, that was my action. Okay. So I could, now on my turn, I could use a stride to add a, a trail to, to it. So I'm going to go You do, do have some stuff between you and the trail. So I think I can still do that because it's just an exhaust action. It's oh. Not, I'm actually like taking a, just as exhaust, use one stride, add one to a trail. Okay. So I just, so, I just use a thing. And all right. And so, one. and that says whenever one or more is added to the trail, increase the, that number added by one. Yeah. So, so add two. We get to add two there. Look at that. We're yep. working together. Good combos. And then I'm going to play this photoscopic headset. Excuse me, sir. My action. Where did you get that? Where did you Where did you find the squeaky? He just tore it out of a toy. He, did you tear it out? He's tore it out of a toy. <laughs> so this says, uh, it was the only focus that I have to spend, but when Ranger Scouts increase the number of cards scouted by one. Yes. So uh, if you want to focus this turn or whenever you want to focus, uh, okay. I can increase your excellent, excellent. thing by one. Uh, and cards that exhaust... Um, you can exhaust at the beginning or end of a ranger's turn. Okay. Yeah. But they're um, not in action. All right. All right. Um, I am going to play Camo Weave Cloak. I'm going to use my spirit to play this. And this says, uh, it comes to deploy three charges on it. And this says, use one charge. When you would suffer one or more fatigue from a path card, reduce the fatigue suffered to zero. Um, so, um, I'm, uh, pulling my cloak on a little bit tighter. Cool. I've got my, my, uh, elven cloak. My co cloak of elven kind. Okay, let's, uh, let's try to soothe, I guess. I mean, I don't have much else to do with the... I could also try to exhaust. I could exhaust, like, first. Because if I fail the test and it like, or if, if I flip the thing, the bad stuff on the challenge deck during the test when I want to soothe, bad things can happen. But if oh, it's yeah. also, it doesn't do the thing right. Yeah. Okay, so I'll try to uh, avoid to exhaust one being. So I'm going to try to avoid the problem we found. So I have two committed to this. Uh, also, keep in mind that we can also take the action that's on Lone Tree Station. Search. Uh, to scout path cards equal to your effort, then draw one path card. I don't think I want to, we do want to like find the stuff, right? But if I wanted to interact with this, I would have to um, take three fatigue, right? Because yeah. I have three things in front of me. Yeah. Because of the, the, the presence of these things in front of me, and I have to like traverse them to start working on that. So if yeah. I just interact with something in front of me, I do not have to do that, right? Because I'm not, Correct. I'm not traversing past them. Or do I have to, do I have to like fatigue two to interact with this guy? I don't think so. I think I just do. I think I just take the chest, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna just try to soothe, or try to uh, 
avoid the prowling wolfhound. So I have two to it. So minus one, so I get a one, which is success. So I exhaust the being. And then... X equals the presence of the card. Oh, X is the presence of the card, so I do not succeed. Okay. Uh, so I just don't succeed, I think, is what happens. Yeah. And then the sun things happen. So starting up here, we got any sun? What's that say? All right. This says if uh, Queasy Voss is not in the path of discard, um, search the valley set for Queasy and put her into play. So if Queasy Voss is not in the path of discard, she is drawn by baked goods. Search the valley for Queasy and put her into play. Okay, so we actually had um, some progress there. Queasy? Queasy. Q Q U I S I. Queasy Voss. Are you supposed to be in here? Search the valley set. Ah, ah she's coming. Okay. She's coming from far away. From a different set. Okay. She's coming from a different set. Look at that. She's meandering over here. She she's carried she's carried by her nose along the smell of baked goods floating through the air as if she were a cartoon character. That's uh, she's a rascal. Look at the little rascal right here. All right. We read uh, ninety one right. Fatiguing, friendly, persistent. Um, yeah, so we read 91. All uh, right. Fatiguing is when you rest if this card is ready and is equipped within reach. And or along the way, you suffer fatigue equal to its presence. If this keyword is followed by a number, suffer that much fatigue instead. If this card is ready and equipped. Okay, so she does come into play to, uh, to, for you. She gets, she's within reach of you. Okay. Um, because the, she's got the within reach thing there. So she um, uh, fatigues you then. If she's ready. If she's ready. Okay, let's find out if she's ready. All right, so Queasy Voss Rascal Good at 91.4. You feel a tug on your backpack and turn to see a young girl suddenly walk beside you. Hi, she says. Do you smell something? Is High Pimpot baking his famous juniper biscuits? Can I have one? Which way to the kitchen? Um, so clear Quizzy with progress to help her find the kitchen. So um, she will help us uh, if we clear her. Okay. But, um, so she is she's in play with you, and and guess what? I don't. I think she fatigues you. Yeah. Uh, gonna... So it's only when we rest. When we rest. Okay. Okay. So if we she's gotta... ready when we rest. Okay. All right. So the wolfhound doesn't attack you. No, it says uh, the sun ability on the wolfhound is ready another prowling wolfhound. So. Oh, and this says if there's another predator in play, this predator comes to play exhausted. So this would have been exhausted for me because okay. you got yours first. Well, now it's ready. But now it readies. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. Now I got to deal with a wolfhound. Uh, all right, so I can't help you with Queasy Voss because I got a wolfhound in my way. Do we have to resolve the sun on Queasy Voss now because she was put into play this, by this ability and then, and then the sun ability is resolved on our cards? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's go with it. I think so. Right, because it says discard either one uh, progress progress or one token from a plant, insect, or gear. Um, that this is location, pivotal, forest, ranger station. We got weather up there. Uh, so she would have come along and and worked on this, I guess. Yeah, but it doesn't Something. have it doesn't have a token okay. on it. Okay, so I think we, one of our gear has to lose a token. Or gear. gear. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Well, um, we. So I. I can spend energy to add tokens to, to gear. So I'll just. I'll, okay. Well, she. She tugs on my. On my cloak and she tears it up a little bit. Yeah. Um. So. Okay. Uh, all right. So I am uh, gonna. What are we doing here? Avoid. I'm not particularly good at avoiding things. Let's be clear. But I guess I'm gonna go for it. So I'll try to avoid this prowling wolfhound. So I'll spin one. I'm gonna discard uh, my Mimlev trekking poles from my hand. Um, I get uh, plus one because of the, the whatever the symbol is here. Um, so I've got a two. So I'm looking to not get boned here. Let's not get boned. Ha! Plus one. So I got three. So did. Um, exhaust this. Um, and this doesn't 
happen because it's exhausted, right? Right. Okay. Uh, so we got to do sun stuff again. So she's in play. Um, oh my god, is she just stealing us blind? Yeah. Good lord. She's the problem. Uh, discard either one... She's a rascal. ...or one token from a plant, insect, or gear. I guess I can get one okay. from here. All right. It doesn't happen for me? It doesn't happen... Oh, because it's in Justin's! It, it doesn't happen because it's over there in Justin's play area. That's right, that's right, that's right. Um, I only, we only do the stuff in my play area. That's mm, right. Okay. That's good. That's good. Uh, we appreciate so she, that. Could she good dis, looking out, Squid Dynamite. Could she discard the token from Nathan's thing last turn when it resolved for me, or does it have to be one of my things? My yeah, I don't question, know. Good question. If you know the answer to that. Um, or gear. I mean, I think, I think she still gets it. I think that's fine. So. Okay. Um, okay. <coughs> uh, so your stick is two equipment worth. My stick is one equipment worth. Um, so we're still good on on as far as equipment is concerned. Yeah. So. yeah. Um, okay. So I've exa I've managed to exhaust my prowling wolfhound. So go ahead. Great. All right. So I'll try to soothe uh, Kuzi Voss, and I think I just like pump a lot of stuff. You pumping? I'm gonna try to connect with with Kizzy Voss. Um, so three spirits, and I can commit hearts for my hand. Well, this is three per rangers. You need six. I need six. Yeah. Six. Um, I could dump five total into the check, but that's like a lot of my cards, right? Uh, yeah, and we only draw one card a turn, we right? We only draw one card a turn, yeah. So, I think I just, uh, I'll put four into it. Okay. So, four on the check. So you can, uh, this does actually, your versatile here, you can add something else to it if you would I like. I can suffer fatigue to, to add uh, all the other traits to it, but it doesn't, yeah. that doesn't matter. Okay. So, three. Alright, so you get three successes on her. Yep. Three progress. Three progress. And then uh, we resolve the thing. So that thing. Nothing here. Nothing mm -hmm. here. Down here. Uh, so I can, if you, uh, you can more... choose which order you yeah, want to resolve yeah. this. If though. there's an active predator, exhaust it, uh, and then add damage to the or harm to the being to this being equal to that predator's presence. Oh, <laughs> we didn't sa we didn't save her from the wolfhound. That is actually That's fine. That's actually fine. Okay. Ah! <laughs> so she'll she'll exhaust the wolfhound and it'll bite her. Uh, uh, no, no, no. It, it, it's exhaust it, add two to her. Yes. She she's gets, not she exhausted. Gets bit. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah right, she's right, not right, exhausted. Right. Okay. Exhausted. And that actually stops this from happening, yeah. then, right? Yeah. All right. All right. All right. The little found attacks the poor girl. My God. Well. Okay. Is it mine? It is yours. Uh, I guess I'm going to traverse. Why not? Yeah, I'll traverse. So I'll use this um, and traverse. Um, uh, and I'm going to add this to it. So um, this can only commit to an attribute when interacting with the trail. So uh, this was a card that I did not under did not know existed last week, and I do this week. Um, so um, I'm adding four to this. I don't think I don't think I want to add anything else. So I'll probably spend my last couple actions to draw, right? Um, since I've got some extra focus to spend. So I've got four to this, and we're going to add another one, five. Plus one. Uh, and then six. So bang, uh, this has now got eight on it, right? So we're basically ready to move whenever we do the thing. That's correct. That's we're correct. Yeah, we got to find good. high Pimpot. Yeah. Um, but, uh, um, okay. So this is the shuffle icon. Queasy Voss is in play. Your cards don't trigger. So this all gets shuffled together. All right. It's a, the, now that we know how the game functions, it's falling a lot faster. Yeah, it, does it much makes better. a lot more sense. Um, Turns I, out knowing the rules of the game helps a lot. I don't have anything else to do, so. I'm actually glad we fumbled through it at least one time, just just because. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Um, I mean, not that that happened last week and mm -hmm. was recorded at all, but... Okay. So I'm passing. Okay. So I am going to focus. Remember your training. Uh, scout ranger cards equal to your effort. Is there anything stopping me? Oh, I guess what's stopping me is... We haven't seen the blue, right? Yeah. So may, every time you make a test, we have things can happen, right? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I can also give you an extra card for one of these. Okay. The scout. One when Ranger scouts, increase the number of cards scouted by one. Okay. 
So I guess I'll, I'll use two effort to start. Good. Yeah, uh, and, um, and I don't actually want to discard a card. Um, so uh, team scout three. Well, right. you do a test first. Yeah. So first the test. I got plus one to it. Okay. Um, now this does happen if it added stuff. It add nope. Okay. So don't have to worry about that. This doesn't do anything. These are gone. Um, so I get to look at three cards. Uh, four, cards. four cards. Two, three, four cards. Um, and then add one to my hand. I believe you can put the others on top or bottom. Yes, I can put them however I would like. Right. Um, I guess I need to... I'm, I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to put this right here. And then I am going to... Uh, I guess we'll do something like this. All right, I'll go like that. Um, and then I, uh, you're passed. Right, um, so I'm going to spend one energy to add a token to a tech. So um, I'm going to use my exceptional tinkerer ability to load up the camel weave cloak again. So, all right. That it? That's it. All right, so we can travel now. We're not going to travel. Right. So we're choosing to move past that. Then we're going to refresh. Ready all cards. Ready. Each ranger regen uh, regains all energy and draws one ranger card. All right. So gain uh, all I these. I do have to take a fatigue because of her fatiguing ability. Yeah. Okay. There, 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 there. Okay. And draw one. All right. Now, path cards. So each ranger draws one path card. So you're the lead ranger, so you draw. Evergrown Thicket. Obstacle. Awareness. Hunt for a way through the, de the dense foliage to add to this feature equal to your effort. Okay. Okay. That is on the way, right? Yes. Uh, the arrow pointing up is on the way. All right, so I'll draw. Um, I've got the Sunberry Bramble. Um, you pluck some brambles. Yeah, this feature ensues to fatigue. If you fail, this feature fatigues you. Uh, so one of the characters is like a hunter gatherer. They they like they actually have cards to let them go find the flora, which is mm. that's kind of cool. Yeah. I like that because um, uh, you uh, are like interacting. You're you're like finding the stuff that helps you. So all right, this is this is in the way, however. So. Okay, so I'm going to play uh, Healing Touch. It costs one spirit. Does discard one harm for being to add three... Oh. Progress. So I'm going to heal her wound. She was bitten by this predator and then add three progress. To Look at that. Boss, and then she's uh, uh, cleared. All right, so we, we actually... You healed the, uh, the wolf bite. Um, okay, so now we clear her. And uh, let's go back here real quick just to see... It says uh, 80. Um, oh, we never asked her about her adventures. <laughs> oh, is, is that? <laughs> yeah, you can ask her about her adventures uh, to add progress to her being and then exhaust being an 80.4, but we didn't do that. So. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, just 80. 80. All right. If a ranger has biscuit basket equipped, neither has a biscuit basket, correct? Nope. All right. No biscuit basket. Uh, is Oro Voss in play? No. No, that sounds like a parent, perhaps. Yep. Um, otherwise, go to 80.3. Enters play. Oh, sorry, this is eight, enters play. Um, clear, go to 80.5. After a nonstop barrage of questions, you're a bit surprised when Queasy suddenly stops talking. You turn, and she's standing on a rock, shielding her eyes as she looks at the sun. I would stand and help you some more, but I can't be late for dinner. See you some other time. She hops off of the rock and okay. scampers down the path. Um, vanishing from view in an instant. Each ranger soothes to fatigue, and then you discard Queasy. Okay. All right, Wonderful. so she's discarded. Um, so this, that matters for this. Okay. Um, so. All right, Queasy. we will see you, Queasy. All right, so that was your action. Okay, so I got some, uh, brambles in the way, and I got this wolf hound still. Um, you've got the wolf hound in front of you. Maybe I just avoid this guy again. Let's, let's just try that. I guess we'll go for that. So. 
All right. I'm going to commit this to the test. I'll spend my one awareness. So green, this symbol um, to uh, exhaust one being. So we'll try to exhaust this wolfhound. Zero. Good. I just, I, it, all right. You do it. I, I successfully did it. Um, so Queasy Voss is not in the discard pile. She is. She is. So nothing else happens. All right. Um, this shuffles the challenge deck again. All right. Excellent work, me. Now, this says after you succeed at a test to which you committed this attribute, you may suffer one fatigue to add it back to your hand. And I think I want to do that. I think it's actually you worth can use fatigue to get cards, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's actually worth it. The thing is, is I, I, my character. I've, I'm nearsighted. I've yeah. been working on, I've been painting 40k miniatures a lot, and so my character has is very nearsighted. I can't see anything without my goggles, um, and this symbol is really hard for me to come by. So I need, I need all the help I can uh, with this. So, okay, I'm gonna play this boundary sensor. Exhaust one sensor when a ranger performs a traverse task, commit one effort. Okay. All right. So you've got, you now are, you're decked out. You've I'm got five out. pieces of gear. Yeah. So I, I maxed out on gear. Your gear max. Um, for those that don't, aren't aware, these little pips up in the top right corner, you can only have five total of those worth of gear in play. So I have five now. All right. And if you want to play more, you can. You just have to discard down. Right. Basically. Okay. That's my turn. All right, so this isn't fatiguing. So if I don't do anything with it, it won't fatigue me at the end of the turn, right? Mm -hmm. um, it just takes fatigue to like move past it. Yeah, to do stuff. All right. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put favorite gear onto my camo weave cloak. Ooh. Um, so attach one of your equipped gear. After you use a token from the attached gear, soothe one fatigue. Um, so uh, I'm uh, I, I'm comboing here. Pretty cool. I'm combinating. I'm combinating again. Um, if I uh, I can use I can prevent fatigue, and then I can use this to get uh, fatigue back. So, all right, go ahead. Who would have thought being a ranger would have required a lot of awareness? Who right. would have thought this? <laughs> Right. Okay, what do I want to do here? Let me try to exhaust this wolfhound. Yeah, you got some hanging gardens in your way. I think soothes three fatigue. If I eat a berry, it's pretty good. So like I could, uh, I could get some fatigue to get some cards. So you, like, I could interact with this, right? Take three fatigue to do that, and then next round try to eat that. Yeah. The problem is I need like to use my awareness. Right. For both Our awareness things. is being super taxed right yeah, now. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'll say. I didn't. I didn't realize playing a one awareness character is hard mode. I guess I can start using some focus to try to draw some cards. Yeah, I definitely need cards. So, and, and the obstacle stops us from interacting with this, right? I, I believe, believe that's the way so. it works. Yeah, Here like we can't. Real quick. We can't traverse while the obstacle is in the way. You cannot interact with a card if you if a ready card with the obstacle keyword is between you and that card. Yeah, there you go. So it's in. The, yeah, there you have it. Oh, I know what I need to find. I need, I need to go digging. I need to start digging. <laughs> All right, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hunt. I'm okay. going to take three fatigue to hunt. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, right? Because the cards between you and this. It's one, two, three. Yeah, the presence of the cards between you and what you're interacting with fatigue yeah. you. Um, all right, so I'm committing two effort. I, I don't have anything else to put to that. So there we go. Two. Minus one. So one. 
And I think it's just, yeah, succeed or fail. So add equal to this uh, effort. Okay. Add progress to effort. All right, so you get one. Uh, one. Now, uh, this does say, um, uh, you get this. So you get to resolve these in any order, right? If this added one, add an additional one. Okay. Yep. And then this one says, discard one progress from this feature, it fatigues you. Okay. So you st still keep one on it and you get fatigued. Cool. This says if there's active human, exhaust them, add progress to them equal to, uh, and damage this feature, but there's no active humans, right? <coughs> uh, yeah, Queasy, I think, is over yeah. there now. Okay, well, I did it. All right, uh, very good. <laughs> You're just climbing over the thing. <sighs> oh, boy, I'm beat. Uh, all right, so I'll spend uh, two focus, and I'm going to remember my ranger training. Um, I need some more blue tokens, by the way. On my turn. More of these blue tokens? More of these guys. Oh, the progress tokens? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're burning through them over there. More Remember triangles. they're threes. Remember yeah, I got the... three right there. Yeah, I'm just saying. I got you a three got... right there. You got... I'm, just, I'm just saying. We're using get... all the threes we can possibly use. I'm just... Well, I'm saying you got the ability to create threes. I did. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I did it. Okay. There are the tokens. Okay. All right. So I am going to remember my ranger training. Um, so, uh, did you want to let me, did you, are you I, gonna, I think I'm going to probably use that one. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, it's no big deal. Or no. focus on me. NBD. Um, so, I'm going to look at two cards and draw one of them, and scout and draw one, so. Uh, I'm drawing my are, doge. Draw, look at two. Oh, this is, that's a pretty good one. Um. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, we're drawing that one. All right, go ahead. Okay, I am going to focus and remember. Is this a, this is a feature? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I only I might just fail this uh, check because I only put one to it, <laughs> and I don't really want to discard a card from my hand to like try again. Yeah, card, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, we got one. All right, so you get to, you just get to look at the top card two because I got. I used my oh card. yeah, yeah. I'll draw one. Okay. And then I do that thing. Um, nothing there. Down to there. If you have three or more fatigue, exhaust this being, suffer one injury. Who? Ha! He bites you. Ow. Ha! Rawr, 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 rawr. Um, is there just, there's just one injury, right? Lingering injury? This thing? Right? I guess so. I believe so. Double check that. Fatiguing two. No, uh, the berries, if there is active prey, exhaust it. Um, so, yeah, great question, Bertani. The, uh, if, I, if there was a sick -a doe or a sick -a buck or whatever that was over here, it would begin eating on the, it'd, be, it'd begin nibbling on the berries. Injury is a, a, just a harm token. Injuries represent a significant danger to your ranger. If your ranger accumulates too many injuries during a day, they'll be forced to camp for the night. If a game effect injures your ranger, place a harm token on your roll card. Discard all the cards in your fatigue stack. Ah, uh, okay, this is not. So that's not, not it. That's the thing that that gets added to your deck. Uh, should you, I believe, if you get, um, uh, if you get mangled. So, well, you 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 gambled and you came up short. For each injury you suffered, you suffer one fatigue when you rest each round. Oh, when yeah. you're instructed to heal an injury, remove one harm from your roll. After your ranger suffers the third injury, you must end the day at the end of your current turn, and you add one lingering injury card to your deck from your collection if there's one available to add. So there you go. That's how injuries work. Okay. Uh, that's not. That's okay. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. It's <laughs> man. That's fine. Man bitten by wolf. <laughs> so it's, I'm fine. That's fine. I'm fine. Guy visibly bleeding. There's nothing wrong. Um. Okay. Uh. All right. So my turn. All right, I'm going to spin one uh, fitness, and I'm going to put trail markers on the overgrown thicket. That's right. Um, this is now a trail, Justin. Okay, wonderful. We like um, that. So you can use your stick. I can use my stick, yeah. On it, um, and you'll get an extra success there. So all right, that's there. Done. And I could play that there, right? Even though the sunberries are in the way, I'm guessing. Yeah, you I'm just can't do like. I can't. I can't take actions on right, it. When right you're, when you're doing a test, that's okay. what matters. All right, there you go. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay. All 
This is an exhaust. Wow. So I'll go ahead and uh, add a thing to the trail. Okay, and, uh, and then this response is when one or more are added to it. We add an additional one. Okay, we still need one more. Yeah, I don't have awareness tokens. I have no awareness. All right, mine. I uh, that was just a that was thing. just exhaust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you haven't taken an action. Taken a thing yet. You try to connect with this wolf. Yeah, it can't bite you again, right? Because it's exhausted. Right. So you don't have to worry about it biting you. Put some stuff on it. All right, I'll go for it. So two, try to connect with the wolf. Plus one. All right, so you get uh, three on it then. There you go. And then suns. So no, no suns. This is exhausted. So. Okay. All right. All right, so mine. Yep. I am going to the nearby terrain. Okay. A location or feature. Okay, okay. So I can try to use fitness on this. Okay, I can try to traverse the overgrown thicket. Okay. I can give you an effort on traverse test. Excellent. That's very good. I would say that's extremely good. Yeah. Um, now, I would get fatigued because this is in the way, right? You would. Um, am I fine with that? I think so. I know what the top card of my deck is. I kind of, well, actually, I can, I'm more than fine getting fatigue because I can prevent the fatigue and then also redraw this. So yeah, 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 let's do this. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Fitness. Right. I'm in traversing. I'll come in an effort there. All right, excellent. Um, and then uh, it may, I may as well throw one in here just to, just to be doubly sure. Um, so using this token there, uh, I included a bunch of cards that had two on them. That's really good. Um, yeah. So, okay. And zero. So uh, now this happens. Um, it will add one. It will subtract one. And, and it will fatigue, fatigue me. Um, and then there's no a a active thing over here. Um, so I get fatigued from this, which I'll use the camel weave cloak to prevent. Okay. Um, and then after you use a token from the gear, soothe one fatigue. So I'll draw this. And then this will fatigue me. Um, but I will add like a jillion tokens to this and clear this. Yep, we do get a fatigue though. Um, I will use the camel weave cloak and prevent the fatigue. Okay. When I would suffer one or more fatigue from a path card, and this is a path card. All right, so the trail markers explode. This goes over there. This goes into the discard pile. Um, this goes into the discard pile. This goes into the discard area. Uh, okay, that's that. All right. I still have this Um, Do you have anything to do with it? I, we don't really need to traverse anything. I guess I can traverse a location or feature. So I could try to traverse the hang gardens. Yes. Yeah, because it's a feature? Yeah. Yeah, all right. But fail suffer one injury. Yeah, that's bad. one to commit, so. That's pretty bad. I think I just pass turn. Yep, I'll pass. Okay, I'm going to play Universal Power Cells. Attach your ranger's equipped tech. When you play this attachment, add three tokens to the attached gear. So this card becomes unattached. Discard three tokens from the uh, attached gear. I'm guessing cards can have multiple attachments to it. I don't see why not. Um, I, don't, I never saw anything. There's, no, there's nothing in the rules that say I can't do that. Unless there explicitly unless is. Unless there is, but I don't think there is. Um, I there's nothing in the rules that I read. I think you're just limited by pips, pretty yeah. much. Um, this does have one pip on it. Um, okay, so uh, I've I've powered up my camo that did cost one focus for that. Um, go ahead. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I passed. So. All right. Um, and then I'm going to use my ability to add another uh, tech, another token to this card, which seems great. I'm invincible, by the way. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing can kill me. All right, um, and we're done here. I think so. I think okay. It's ready. Uh, does this fatigue me? No, it's not. No, uh, it's not it's fatiguing. fatiguing. Okay. Yeah, we're not traveling. We're refreshing. Okay. So ready everything. 
Each ranger regains all energies and draw one ranger card. I get to take in a fatigue because of my injury. Ugh. Ugh. The wolf bite. Me and this wolf are being friends one day. Surely. And then we draw a card. <laughs> yeah. Justin's like, why, why can I hear Nathan laughing? <laughs> Alright, path cards. Spirit Speaker Null. Ah. Friendly. So focus to share to the difficulty to on Null's understanding of the universe and add one progress to this being for every two effort and scout one challenge card. Oh, okay. She lets us go find the other people. Yeah, so read 80. Uh, no. Oh, we don't. That's We're not reading her. 81 or whatever, okay. right? There's some cloud upkeep. Oh, cloud upkeep. So this is down two, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, okay, enters play. This is... Uh, oh, is that, is that th the third one for that cloud? Uh, this will be our third turn. This will be our third turn. Okay. This will be the third turn. Right. First, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, a Spirit Spooker Nalls, 91.2. You come across a, wooding, a woman sitting in a meditation pillow... Her eyes closed. She doesn't open them, but gestures for you to come closer. We're happy to have you, she says. I'm Nall, the spirit speaker here at Lone Tree Station. Sit with me for a minute, then we can talk. So, uh, clear Nall with progress to speak with her further. Okay. That was 45 we did. You, was that not 45? That was 91.2. Why don't we read 45? Because we're instructed by the scenario to read 91 oh, for, her. Okay. for everybody. Okay, okay. Whenever one of the new people come in. So. All right, yours now. All right, my path card. Uh, Sitka no. Being prey mammal, um, you can shoo away or uh, some other stuff. All right, so she comes into play. Sitka no is over here. She might begin nibbling on these berries for me, which would help me out. Okay. All right, lead ranger, take it away. Okay. I'm uh do a little traversing. I'm gonna traverse the hanging gardens. I'm going to commit an effort to it. So that's two. Let's go ahead and let's commit both of these two. So that's three total. Okay. You got three going towards the hanging gardens. Yep. So minus, minus two. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Ew. So that's one. Success on it. Um Ow. Well, Oof. Yeah. Oof, owie. I had this card I wanted to use that says after you succeed a traverse test, add uh progress to a being equal to your effort, then this is in addition to the test standard effort. So if it was like not one, it would be worth to play this yeah. card, right? Yeah, but, but I think it's not, not right. probably not just... worth it. All right, so this gets to, uh, we're going to do all the day stuff. Yeah. Um, which uh, you don't really have anything over there that matters. So. Right on the Prowling Wolf Hound. Okay. Yeah, that's it. All right, shuffle the challenge deck. Jeez. You're getting beat up over there. Yep. It's fine. It's making you stronger. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, um, so I guess the first thing I'm going to do is do a little bit of focusing here. Um, I'm going to try to remember my ranger training. Um, so I'll spend two. Um, I'm not going to do anything else there. I think. Um, I have zero. All right, uh, so I get to look at two. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what we needed. Put that right there. Put this on the bottom, and then I'll draw this one. Um, okay. And then uh, we resolve all of the sun. Ready another problem? We'll found there are one or more Sitka bucks in play. So um, yeah, nothing else there. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Uh, 
All right, I'll try to connect with Spirit Speaker and I'll... Okay. The two... Um, I'll go ahead and throw this in since I'm not going to be using it this turn. <laughs> Three. <laughs> the difficulty is two. Yeah. Add one to this being for every two effort and scout one challenge card. This is the share. So I'm not soothing, I'm, I'm doing her ability. Okay. So maybe I do want to like go... Yeah, you have to use focus for that. Oh, it's focus. For her ability. Yeah, for her ability. Uh, I don't have that. I could do like one and then the cards in my hand, which is three. If I wanted to do that. Or I could try to like soothe. Just to let you scout the challenge deck. Because we we're trying to find... Yeah, we're stuff, trying to find right? high Pimpot, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. I'll, I'll throw three at uh, it. Go for it. Minus one. So you got two. So you did so succeed. Yeah. And then we do the boats. This test add add one additional. Okay, so you get three. Uh, so it adds one. It adds one to this being for every two, but it added one, so it adds one additional. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, if there's an active human exhaust them. Add the add progress to this. Add progress to them and damage to this. Okay. Uh, add damage to this. Both equal to their presence. Oh, okay, so it actually gets two progress. And then two damage on this. Okay. She's eating some... She's like, hey, come on over here. Give me them, give me them berries. You want to chomp on these berries? And then, uh... Scout one challenge card. Okay, yeah. It's it's high pin pot, so I guess we keep that on top. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. For sure. Yep. Okay. Progress. That was good. Yeah, that worked out. That's This is what... You might not like it, but this is what Optimum Earthborn Rangers play looks <laughs> like. Okay, so I am going to, um, I'm going to play my Infusion Canteen. I'll spend my last focus on this. Uh, and this is when you play this gear, choose an aspect. You I was going to challenge, not path. Oh, uh, well, we know High Pine Plot's up there. Uh, and, okay, so we're scouting challenge. Oh, do we need a shuffle? I guess we need uh, well. For the sake of the That's stream. That's fine. It was there. 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 That's fine. Challenge that. Do you want to keep this on top? You'll, we'll, we'll just know. Like, we have that. Okay, so there, plus right. one focus. Minus one. Uh, minus one awareness. I, so, um, I don't know what you were planning to do in your next turn, um, but I was trying to get these berries. Trying, okay. to, trying to wail on these berries. I mean, you could change, like, knowing that, right? Well, I had a plus one focus. You know. Oh. 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 Zero spirit. Hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, in the red. So I don't have three or more. I think that's fine. I'll, I'll leave that there. I don't know what you're. What you're I, I guess we'll just leave, just it, leave it there. Yeah. 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 Uh, right, you're anyway. playing that anyway. I'm playing Infusion can Canteen. So when I choose this gear, I can choose an aspect, and I can exhaust this to sip from it and gain one energy of the matching aspect. So uh, I'm actually going to choose Awareness here. Now, originally it was going to be one of the other things that I use a ton, but uh, this card's incredible. Okay. I think that's awesome. Yeah. So uh, it's going to get some counters on it. We'll just put three counters on it for now. Um, and yeah, uh, go ahead. Okay, so knowing that, um, the spirit is zero there, I can just throw the three of these at the wolfhound, basically, on a, and, on know, a and know that it will succeed. Yeah. So I can, like, get rid of the stupid-ass wolfhound. Okay, boom. I can also clear her. This is another option. But also I could just get rid of this wolfhound. It's I didn't get rid of the wolfhound. It did, it, did, uh, it did bite you. Yeah, it did bite me like a little bit. It so. tried to murder you. I'm doing that um, and we're flipping. I, that was that. Yeah. Okay, so we need to resolve the stuff. There is none of that stuff. So, goodbye. Wolfhound, gone. Okay, your turn. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to... Do I try to get some of these berries? I want to get out some of these berries. I got all this garbage in the way in front of me. Um. I'm about to eat some of these hanging garden berries, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I can just do some random stuff here and hope that this wolfhound eats this Sitka dough. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not I, your business, really. Yeah. It's that's, like, just, that's nature, that's baby. That's nature, yeah. That's just nature. So I'll let the um, I'll I'll try to pick some of these berries. I don't have any fatigue. Hmm. Maybe I try to. Maybe I try 
to connect. I'll try to connect to this wolfhound. Do I want to use this? Um, I think I just hold on to this. All right, I'll, I'll, wolfhound, you are troubled. Uh, I've been, I, I want to save this card, but I'm just going to go ahead and spend three on this. Um, this lets me play an attachment from the discard pile, so I wanted to be able to replay the trail markers if we come across the oh, yeah, obstacle sense. or something. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's gone now. Uh, okay, so uh, I've got three towards this. Plus one is four. Um, so that's four success, four progress on this, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, we got red. I don't have three fatigue. So nothing happens there. Okay. Did not get bit. I didn't get bit. Like I got bit. Yeah. I know how to. Handle. I know my way around. A, uh, a, I don't know my way around dogs. Isn't that right, Eddie? <laughs> Plays there. Yeah. Not see? reacting. Yep. This this dog is not actively biting me right now. So. <laughs> All right, that was your turn. Yeah. I'm gonna eat some berries. So two. Plus one. Three. Uh, so I add one to this feature, one damage, and then I soothe three fatigue and Ooh. heal one injury. Ooh. Delicious. Boom. All right. Uh, challenge deck gets reshuffled. What? Are you awake? Did I wake you up? I did, but I dropped a card on the ground. <laughs> so. Very upsetting. Eddie gets a treat. The treat. Treat time. He's looking. Uh, my character's too good at preventing fatigue. Yeah. You kind of want some fatigue, right? Yeah, I like want I a little like, bit. You want a little bit of fatigue. Come here. Cool. <laughs> There you go. Three done. I don't, I don't have any way to traverse right now. Um, I guess I can... If you scout, then I can give you the thing. Or are you done? I'm, I'm out of focus. All right, I am also out of everything. So um, I'm done. I guess I can. I'll try to traverse these uh, berries then. Sunberry bramble. Um, so spending two, I don't actually want to spend anything out of my hand. Uh, no, sorry. This is wicked flips. Zero. Okay. So no damage. Um, so I put two success on it. There are not enough of these. To, oh my! Two look, progress. At, look at this. Look at this two. decadent. Okay. All right. Decadent use of progress tokens over there. Um, two progress. Okay. Uh, that was a red. Doesn't do anything. Um, I've got one awareness. I actually don't want to do the thing yet. Um, exhaust beings. Nah, I think we're done here. Okay. Um, so. Uh, Refresh. This goes away now. Okay. Um, if there are no clouds remaining, flip this card. We're in the midday sun now. Add one cloud. Uh, so refresh. Add one cloud to this card. If there are three or more clouds, flip this. Um, and uh, we can focus plus the triangle to locate shade to wait out the blaring sun. Um, add one cloud to this card and soothe one fatigue. If uh, if we roll for if we have a sun show up, we actually suffer a fatigue. The sun is beating down on us. Okay, uh, is what's happening. So, all right, that's okay. The midday sun. Okay. Uh, ready. Draw energy back. Path cards. Okay, I draw this. Oh, look. It's my, High Pie Pot. It's High Pie Pot. 
Kai Pimpot. All right, so we got a 91. What's he got for us? What do you got for us? Uh, 91.3. You come across a massive pile of dice and sliced vegetables, roots, and tubers. Occasionally, more slices fly through the air to land on top of the pile. Back already, a voice says from beyond the vegetable pile. I told you, there's no silverfin curry to be had until the fish has marinated for at least three hours. The head pokes out from behind the pile. Oh, it's you. I thought you were Elder Thrush. She gets so impatient on silverfin curry day. Clips has sent you for the biscuits, eh? They're just out of the oven. Let me know when you're ready to leave, and we'll get you and those biscuits to good people of white skies straight away. Um, travel away from high uh, from Lone Tree Station while High Pimpot is in play to complete the mission. Um, all right, so um, travel away from Lone Tree Station while High Pimpot is in play. So we have to keep them in play. Um, one point one. All right, so I don't think we do the thing yet. Going in the basket. No, 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 I don't think we do the thing yet. Okay. So we just travel. So basically. yeah, yeah. We, if we, we just, travel away. Yeah, yeah. We just, we just gotta get through it and we can travel. So Okay. Merton, or Squid Dynamite. Squid Dynamite. Ten appreciate months. those appreciate that prime. Thank you. Um yeah, we just travel through So we don't want to clear her yet. We don't we don't want to clear him. Him. But okay. we would do we want to clear clear like spirit yeah. speaker. Okay. Which I can prob do. Like right now. Um, so, let's do a little soothing, a little bit of that, or connecting for spirit speaker. Okay. Uh, so I'll do three to it. Three. Boom. And then that stuff. All right, so that is going to do some stuff. There's an active predator, exhaust it. Uh, add damage to this being able to that predator's presence, but there's no, this, this doesn't count your stuff, right? Yeah, you don't look at my cards. Active predator, active predator, okay. And then I clear spirit speaker, no. All right, so 45. Yeah, but isn't it different for this one? Uh, we we start with uh, 91. Okay, I thought I thought 91 said if you clear, read something. Uh, I'll double check, but you might be right. Clear, oh, Queasy Voss, yeah, 91.8. Queasy Voss. This is not Queasy Voss. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Spirit speaker, speaker Null. I heard the wrong thing earlier. Oh, okay. So in your time together, Queasy has made a uh, game of scouting. This is uh, back of time. Okay. Editor, editor note, uh, go back, splice this back in uh, an hour ago. In your time together, Queasy has made a game of scouting Lone Tree Station for clues as the kitchen's whereabouts. Eventually, the scent of high pimpots biscuits grows stronger. Queasy cheers. Yes, yes, yes. Delicious biscuits. Here I come. She runs off. Each ranger, ranger soothes too fatigued and discard Queasy. That was basically what happened before anyway. Okay. All right. Yep. So we're clearing um, Spirit Speaker Null. And that is a 91.6. Null opens her eyes and slowly turns to you. Her movement's precise and fluid. She smiles at you like an old friend. That was lovely, she says. I just had the most amazing experience. I was speaking with the spirit of Mount Nim. It was so powerful and ancient. It's a great spirit to call upon if you ever find yourself in need of some perspective. But right now, we should check on the spirits of those biscuits, she says with a playful smirk. You better find High Pimpot and pick them up while they're still warm. Each ranger soothes fatigue, to fatigue, then discard and all. Okay. Done. Done. Checking on the spirit of the biscuits. All right, my turn. Yep. I'm going to try to uh, exhaust this Prowling Wolfhound. I'm going to use my awareness in this uh, to avoid it. Zero. All right, so I will get fatigued from the Midday Sun. That is not a path card, so I just straight up get fatigued there. Um, is what's happened in there. It's beaten down on me. Um, but I do succeed... And I will suffer one fatigue to add this back to my hand. Um, and I get to exhaust the Prowling Wolfhound. Um, and then I'm going to exhaust the Fusion Canteen to uh, give myself awareness back. So, there you go. I make I can my high pimp uh, prepare its famous stew. Harvest stew to attach a flora face down to high. If there are three flora attached to high, he prepares his famous stew. Mmm. Probably don't want to clear him though. How does right? one attach 
flora face down, but it doesn't, that does not clear him. That's a uh, flora here, and this is a flora. So I think if you've got flora in play, you could give it to him, right? I mean, I could go for that, I guess. I've got flora over here. I don't know if you're going to tap my flora to him. I don't think so. Okay. Because it's not in front of you. Yeah. It's not within reach of you. Right. All right, I'll try the to... The doe do anything? The doe... Yeah, so if there were more Sitka bucks, but we haven't, we haven't run into any Sitka bucks. I'll try to have him harvest the hanging garden. Okay. Three. Three. You did it. Okay, so sun. I get a fatigue. Yep. It's hot out here. That doesn't matter. No other sun. Um, hot out today. I touch floor face down. Hot day yesterday, too. That gets out of my hair, though. Okay. That's my turn. All right, shuffle. Uh, okay, I, I think it's uh, plucking time. Sunberry Bramble plucking time. I'll use this awareness. Um, I'm adding in my astute nature. Uh, attribute and um, I've got a three here uh, so that'll do it um, add one harm to this and soothe two fatigue bang very good um, okay if there is an active prey exhaust it add soothe to it uh, and to this feature both equal to that prey's presence so um, the doe is going to nibble on the sunberry brambles and get rid of it. Okay. Thanks. Uh, if there was an active predator exhausted to do damage to it, but the active predator is not exhausted. So sunberry, sunberry's gone. Okay. Right, I'll try to remember. Rip. I'm remembering just one. Hey, plus one. And I'll get a plus one. So look at three. Your turn. Um, is there any point in do we do we just travel? I mean, we just is bounce. there is yeah. there any point in me like trying to stock up on cards? Or I anything? mean, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Let's read travel. Yeah. I think if we keep going, then yes. Yeah. We can carry the basket. All right, so then I'll uh, I'll so you clear all play, clear player area, discard all path cards in play, and all ranger cards within reach along the way or in the surroundings, but not in your player area. Then right. sort our cards. That's like your attachments. All right, okay. So this I keep these, okay. But the sick doe and the prowling wolfhound go away. Yeah. Okay. Um, cards with the persistent keyword are not discarded, which uh, the pipe about isn't, but that's part of our mission, right? Yeah, Queasy, Queasy Voss was... Yeah. Travel to a new location. As a group, choose a new location to travel to by consulting the campaign map. You must choose a location that is connected directly to your current location by one of the path marks on the map. Chosen destination must be the next location on the map. On the chosen path, you cannot skip over a location. Okay. After choosing a new location as a group, you can decide to end the day and set up camp for the night before venturing into the new landscape. Ending the day in this way is safer than ending in the middle of the navigating through a location and allows you the opportunity to prepare yourself for the next day. If you end the day this way, you are allowed to swap reward cards in your ranger decks between sessions. If you choose not to end the day, continue to step four. Okay. Step four is build the path deck. So we probably we probably end the day there then, right? Okay. Like we travel and end the day, and that's probably good. Because I would make some... I would probably modify my deck a look a little bit based okay. off of this uh, one encounter. Because uh, if we end the day, I think we draw new hands and whatnot, right? It just says arrival... Resolve arrival setup and then phase four refresh, which is just draw one normal. So I think it's with, it's continue hmm. with our current stuff. Hmm. Yeah. Decide to camp. You are allowed to swap reward cards into your ranger decks between sessions. Okay. Not not changing your makeup. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So I think this is just like you can pause here if you want. Yeah. But you still keep your stuff. Okay. Because it doesn't say like discard your hand hand or anything like all that. right well then i'm gonna i'm gonna go focus okay. i'm gonna remember my training okay yeah yeah um 
Okay, uh, so I actually have four. I get to look at four. Uh, these are all good. I guess this card. And put this on top. Uh, all right, and I get fatigued by the sun. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Good. I pass. All right, I am going to pass as well. So, we're traveling. We're traveling. All right, discard all path cards and play an all ranger cards within reach. All right, so this goes away. This goes away. Um, all right, so travel away from Lone Tree Station while High Pipot is play. We read, uh, so we read 1.1. 1. 1. Okay. All right, so I'll read that real quick. Uh, Hi, Pimpot places the last juniper biscuit into the basket and hands it to you. There's no better way to begin a friendship than with a freshly based baked biscuit, he says. The people of White Sky just love meeting new rangers. They always come bearing treats. Hi, Pimpot winks and takes a biscuit for himself. You should you shoulder the basket and walk down the trail towards White Sky. As you do, the enticing aroma of the biscuits wafts up from the basket. You remember that you haven't eaten anything since breakfast. Your stomach growls. Surely they won't miss one or two. Flip the biscuit delivery uh, mission into biscuit basket side. Then choose a ranger to equip it. So this has two on it. So one of us has to equip the biscuit basket. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, uh, so um, do you have uh, space or do you want me to take it? I can take it. It's not a big deal. Uh, this has three biscuits on it. Three biscuits. Well, this is a spirit spender. I'll just discard my hiking stave. Okay. And then I'll take it. Let's all get this card. All right, get your biscuit basket. Yeah. Uh, choose a ranger to equip it. All right. Anything else to read over there? You tell me. Um, Where are we going next? One point one. We left. Uh, if we ever have zero biscuits in this, we have to read this. Okay. We'll probably have to go back and get more biscuits. Um, and we're traveling away. So we're traveling towards, uh, uh, we go to the map, right? Break out the map. The map. I think you can interact with other rangers' path cards. You, you just get fatigued by everything within reach of you. The rules say not another rangers player, but references that as the ranger cards. Not super clear. Okay, yeah, check out. Yeah, we're, uh, we're actually commenting that the rule book isn't, uh, isn't up to the standard that we expect from rule books. Um, it's not the worst. It's I've definitely worse, seen yeah. way worse, uh, but it's not the gold standard, I would say, so. So we're we got to go to White Sky. So okay. we're traveling to White Sky. Okay. Um. So Dune. It's about it. It's about it's much better than the Dune rulebook. Yes. The Dune CCG. So do we have to do what? What do we have to do? Missions. Do we have to get rid of this stuff? Um. Woods. Woods. Lone Tree Station. Woods. The Valley. Yeah, we'd woods, we'd woods. uh. So. And learn what to do next. Choose a ranger to equip it. Do we have to... Uh... Okay. Let's hype him about leave. Oh, he gets... Is he cleared? I mean, when we travel, um, he, is moved, he is discarded, right? Yeah. For the rules, but we travel with him to complete the mission. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, another. <laughs> he scolds us if we try to like leave. Try to leave where? Travel away from Lone Tree Station while High Pippa is ability to complete the mission. Okay. Um. So if we travel to White Sky, do we get the White Sky cards and the Lake Shore cards? 
Yeah, we do. We get. We do gather all that. But um, okay. But I'm trying to find the entry. Travel away from Lone Tree Station while High Pimp is played to, to complete the mission. Let's go back here. I don't know where you were supposed to read this. Uh, okay, wait. Um, what number is it? Then choose a ranger to equip it. It's one. It's we're at one point one because we read we read one point one. Okay. Right. Um. Uh. So flip the biscuit. Uh, deliver your mission to the biscuit side. Then choose a ranger to equip it. And then one point two. I guess you're supposed to read down the the list of these. Then, huh? 1.2? Is that, uh, yeah, so there's like a whole bunch of stuff here. So if the rangers have no biscuits on their roll cards, which we don't, right? We, we haven't taken any biscuits. Um, we go to 1.02a. But we haven't, like, interacted with the biscuits. Correct. If, if there's zero biscuits on the gear, 1.02. Ah. We have to interact with the gear to move biscuits around on stuff. Okay. So we have to go to White Tree then. We can just go anywhere, right? Yeah. With our biscuits. Anywhere but we're supposed to go to White Sky. Oh, we're supposed to go to White Sky? Yeah, this is this is bizarre. Okay. Let's just I felt like we were cruising along here until we got to this exact thing, <laughs> right? You choose a new location to travel to by consulting the campaign map. You must choose a location that's connected directly to your current location with one of the paths marked on the map. You have to deliver or eat all three biscuits. Okay, so I guess we I guess we go to White Sky then. And then we deliver the biscuits. Okay. Alright. Oh, I oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. We're at White Sky. We find the denizens of White Sky. We give them biscuits. Yeah. And then that's not in the basket anymore. Okay. But this is where we're hitting pause, okay. right? Because yep. we've, we're traveling to White Sky, we'd have to reset the whole thing. Yeah, we'll pause. Uh, what an what a inelegant ending to this, yeah. but uh, it's fine. It's fine, so. Um, not a problem. We're, we're figuring it out. Okay, well, there you go. That's Earthborn Rangers. Okay. Mission, mission so well, next, most of Mission 1. Do we have to, like, restore our game state next time? Yeah, great question. I don't know. I don't know what happens here. But I think, I think we do. I think we haven't, like, we haven't ended our mission like a mission is like a game we haven't yeah. ended the game we're just right, pausing. right. We're, we're camping or whatever yeah so i've got this fatigue i've got this gear right all right so here's what i've I'm got do. this i'm gonna do discard pile and then deck and then hand and then fatigue and okay so you had discard, discard pile, deck, deck hand, hand fatigue. fatigue yeah all right and consult the vod to know what we did uh, tokens on cards, like the question. That's fine. Um, like that. Yep. 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 This all comes back because we had a refresh. Yep. Okay. Discard, deck, hand, fatigue. Yeah, easy. Look at that. We'll just have to put this someplace where <laughs> we won't knock it over. Surely. Yeah, we'll have it in the box for reference. Surely we'll be able to. Surely we'll that. be able to restart. Well, we, you can put it in the box. There's like sections for, for saving decks. Oh, okay. Their cards specifically. For I'll that. use this section of the box, the part, the part next on to the our table, game board. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, there you go. I think we, I think we shut it down there. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, we can prepare for the next one by knowing what yeah. we're supposed to do. Uh, that was. Uh, it's cool. It's definitely like now that we got through a game. Yeah. Um, I like it all, quite a bit. Um, I think it's really cool. Uh, it it's doing a lot of interesting stuff. Uh, it's it's got like this nice light RP elements, which are cool. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking, I'm liking what's going on here, so. I do, um, I would definitely change things about my deck building, for sure. Yeah, I would, <laughs> for I, sure. yeah, I would, I, I didn't, I mean, I knew I was kind of, like, short on that stuff, but I yeah. didn't know, like, how good it was, but, I don't know, at the same time, like, I can, was functioning pretty well. I can draw a lot of cards, was the thing, Eddie right? treat, yes. Eddie Give treat. me Eddie another treat. Eddie. 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 Coming back. Oh, he's racing. He's racing back. Are you kidding me? Another treat? Are you serious? This dog is gonna be. He's he 
He can barely contain his excitement. <laughs> he got it. It's, he's been treated. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, I appreciate everybody hanging around tonight. Yeah, um, we'll yeah get, this game's really cool. We'll get back to this. It's going to be a, little, a couple weeks, probably. Yeah, it's going to be a bit. We have worlds and stuff. And yeah, we, we all finish keyboard stuff. Though. Yeah, we'll get, but we'll, we do want to get back to this. Yeah, we will. Because sure. if we don't play this on stream, we're never playing this. That's true. All right, thanks for watching. That. Uh, back with more keyboards on Sunday. Everyone has the rest of the good next couple days, and goodbye. Goodbye.